understand what the enemy er heroes are good at or what they're bad at to try and abuse it in a way. They also d the mid ward and you have VP swapping their lanes to match this tide against the Enigma in the lanes, which could be pretty good, but down bottom already. Yeah, they're gonna try and bring down Hakoda. He's gonna f end up being the one that gets punished for this movement. They set up as a try lane to get that kill and they will succeed in doing so. Parker grabbing the first blood on his signature Morphling. On the Morphling, I suppose it's a worthwhile trade, provided that you can win the mid lane and do decently up on top, right? Then you're like, well, the heroes that need to make space for me while I'm farming the jungle anyway, they're getting off to a better start than they would be otherwise if it was just a normal situation. As bottom affliction, not in a normal situation, gets the snowball out onto the Luna, but should end up dying here. They even commit the tombstone for this one. Going on to Michael's gonna try to get away with the fire snap quickie, not allowed to do so. As Ramses claims the double kill on this Luna. Oh boy, things now. You were mentioning how they are already in a situation. Infamous supports a bit more so that if they're not three bottom, you don't need to be three bot either unless you're looking to take the tower. Because GPK there, if he has a body with him, he should be living. As in mid, we have another little dive, perhaps. A little bit of a jump happening, and they are going to be able to throw back Michael. It is just going to be a support kill, but they'll take it. If they get it is the thing, GPK will be able to find the kill, but it's certainly going to cost them his own life. Tombstone gets dropped down by Hakoda. The Soul Rip keeps the Invoker alive for now. Parker got drawn towards the mid lane, but primarily here to deal with the Tombstone as Marcy disposes the Leshrac. Do they have the damage to kill? Yes, they do. Lesh is down, but GPK might end up following as they bring in Parker with the Snowball. Tornado able to throw them both back, so no kill happening in Revenge. DM. They have access to the Ravage. The question is, can they get close enough to be able to trigger it out? From the mid lane, GPK is also coming in, moseying on through the jungle. He's gonna come across some of these targets. Rebound will catch out onto Frank first and foremost. Black Hole will come out. Cancelled almost immediately. DM has Ravage at the ready. Doesn't even need to use it. They've already brought down Frank. Michael will follow him into the grave as well. And somehow, some way, committing zero ultimates, they get a resounding win down bottom and force out the usage of the Black Hole. Which will only result in them dying. So right now for them, I would like them to just swap up their gameplay completely. Take your foot off the gas and like go full break mode. Just farm, hold the map, and if VP make a mistake or dive you too hard, then you can think about it. But this dive's gonna be successful though, Kezu. They jump onto Frank first, Enigma already gone. Michael will be able to dodge most of the beams from the Eclipse, but still gonna end up dying. I suppose you wasted a little bit of time before they kill you, but there's a 0% chance they won't still kill the tower as well. Game is super hard. You said you want to see them play a little bit further back. Cool. There's no guarantee you have enough damage to kill some of these heroes caught in it. They're still coming in though. Parker TPing very far forward. Wants to try and burst down the Aegis. Ramses will end up losing life number one. Okay, that's something. Frank really wants this black hole. He will get the black hole, but immediately cancelled. Now BKB activated by the Luna. Goes in with the Eclipse. They've already brought down Michael. Ravage will be there. It catches Parker on the last tendrils. He is now in a little bit of danger. The first one in danger though is certainly Affliction as he's gonna die on the other side of the fight on the high ground. They're chasing Parker, waveform away. It's not gonna keep you safe, my friend. They have so many ways to chase you down. Both supports will buy back, but to what end? Leo style goes too far forward. Leo style's dead and Affliction can't save him. We spoke about this, Kezu. And it turned out not to be a, a concern, but more of a prophecy as he can't save the left rack. They end up losing all their heroes. And now they're gonna like lose. you're talking about just now. The fact that Frank, like you're talking about just now. The fact that Frank, that was what? The second black hole this entire game? Must yeah. be feeling to himself that we picked this hero for a reason. It's supposed to have this massive impact. They're trying to play around the Roshan pit right now, but they don't have the Enigma nearby. They're gonna go jump onto Ramsey. He still has the BKB. And even without the Eclipse, can easily turn back onto Parker. Parker losing so much health with the Spirit Vessel and the EMP. No way for him to survive that one. They've lost both supports. Those two diebacks as well. And with Parker being gone, there's no way in hell they don't just rush down middle. With the full Scotty, BKB, Dragon Lance, and Infamous, they read the writing on the wall, and they don't like the story it tells them. So they will instead just call GG well played. Game number one here in the last chance qualifiers goes emphatically towards Virtus Pro. Yeah, I mean, VP played very well in this game. Maybe, you know, this one little misstep in the early laning stage, or you, sometimes you get caught off guard. GPK has this one little death, but even...